XYZ filters are regularly used in 2D drafting and 3D modeling. How I access the XYZ filters is shift right button and you can see that I have my XYZ point filters right here. So again to engage an XYZ filter I press down shift the right button on the mouse and I go to point filters. So let's learn about this. I'm going to try to draw the rectangle that is right here. And what I know is if this coordinate right here is 0, 0, this is 0, 0. Let's call this 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and 4, 0. So all of the lines that are on this horizontal value share the same y value. Because remember, x was 1, 2, 3, 4, y was 0, 0, 0, and 0. So everything which is working horizontally shares the same y value. Everything that aligns itself vertically shares the same x value. So this would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and 0, 4. So again, all of these values are sharing the same x value. If I want to draw a rectangle starting at this point, this point shares the same x value as everything along here. It shares the same y value as everything along here. So if I say draw a rectangle and I want to start off here, I can do shift right button, choose point filters, and get the x value. I read the prompt. It says the x value of what? I put my mouse where I want it to be and I'm going to say get the x value from the end of this line right here. I read the command prompt. It says what's the YZ? I move my crosshairs here, shift right button, I'm getting the YZ value from the end of right here. It's now asking for the other corner. I says the other corner uses the X value of the end point of what? So hold it there. You can see that all of these share the same X value. It's now saying what YZ or what Y do I want and I would say go to the end of here. Let's do it one more time down here. I will draw a rectangle from where I will say get the X value of what? Get the X value of the end. All of these share the same X value. So get the X value of there. It says what's the YZ? That value is the same all along here. My other corner would go to the dot x of the end of what? I'll say here, what is my yz value? I will say the end of here. Now I'd like to show you this in application. I'm just going to control s to save my drawing. I have text here. The text has insertion points. This is independent text, which also has insertion points. What I'd like to do is I'd like to reposition this text so that the insertion base point of this text lines up with the X value of the insertion base of this text and the YZ of the insertion base point of there. So I will say move this text, enter to say I'm done, move it from the insertion base point of the text. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the dot x of the insertion base point of this text here. You can see it's now lining it up that way. It's asking me where's my y value and I will say go to the insertion base point over here. Control S to save. I'm now going to say move these two lines of text, enter to say I'm done selecting, move it from 
the insertion base point of this text to the X filter, the dot X of the insertion base point of this text, the YZ would be the insertion base point of this text. So you can see now I have all of my text lined up perfectly in this orientation and these two lines of text are now matching up with the insertion base points for the keynotes. XYZ filters are very frequently used in 2D drafting and 3D modeling to help us provide correct alignment between different geometries.